Hello, we will solve the next lab of the JSON Web Token Attacks topic from the Web Security Academy. The name of the lab is JSON Web Token Authentication Bypass via Flawed Signature Verification. Okay, I use the built in browser of Burp and I also use the JVT editor extension. Okay, back to Burp proxy. Go to your browser, click the My Account link, and log in with Wiener and the password Peter. You see in the HTTP history tab there are some requests highlighted. That means that these requests contain JSON Web Token. We need the GET request to the endpoint My Account, send this request to Burp Repeater, and switch to Burp Repeater. In the request section, go to the request line and change the endpoint to admin and send the request. You see in the response section, we received an HTTP 401 unauthorized. That means we can't access the admin panel as the user we know. Okay, go back to the request section. You see the cookie header and the session parameter within the cookie header. The session parameter contains our JSON web token. A JSON web token consists of three parts. The first part is the header. Double click it and you see in the inspector section it is decoded. The second part is the payload part. Double click it and you see it is decoded in the inspector section. The last part of a JSON web token is a signature, but that doesn't matter in our case okay now we have to change the user double click the payload part and go to the inspector section and replace the value of the property sub from wiener to administrator click the apply changes button now go to the header part of the JSON web token, double click it and you see it is decoded in the spectral section. The property Ike has to change to known. Apply changes because we don't need an algorithm. Now, come, now the most important part is to delete the signature of the JSON web token. The second part is here and delete the whole signature but leave the last point. Now send the request and you see in the response section we received an HTTP 200 OK. Scroll down and look for the endpoint that we need to delete the user par Carlos here. Admin delete question mark username equal Carlos. Go to the request section and replace the request line and send the request. Now you see we received an HTTP 302 found. Click the follow redirection and you see in the browser we solved the lab. Scroll down in the response section and you see here the message user deleted successfully.